Welcome everyone to the Empower Her Hour, a meeting in the ladies room. My name is Rhonda L. Cox, the international event producer, and I am joined here with my sisters. So listen, if you follow any of us on social media, you have seen us whining and dining, you've seen us celebrating each other's wins, you've seen us doing our slumber parties, our choreography, because you know, that's what we do. <laughs> but now we are offering an inside view of what actually goes on with us. And so we are using our social media platform to normalize sisterhood, specifically amongst black women. So allow me the opportunity to introduce my sisters. Go ahead. I'm Donzella Marie, the assistant living coach. Oh, okay. I guess it's me then. I am April J. I am the owner and CEO of WPB Media Networks. I am Arely Soled. I am the Afro-Latina bringing the song to the group. Ooh, that's ah, I see. No, that was so nice. I know three words. And again, Rhonda Elcott is the international event producer. So listen, we wanted to get into this conversation. We wanted to talk about what makes us a sisterhood. What is, you know, so we hear about it all the time. We see it. We see it also being destroyed. We see it all that. So we just wanted to talk about what makes us so strong. How it is that what, like almost a year later, we are still sitting here strong with so many more plans in the future, even to the point where now we have this podcast. So let's just talk about it. Let's talk about everyone's experience with previous sisterhoods, so to speak. So I think that the, the, what, what makes our sisterhood so solid is because we are able to express ourselves with no judgment. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I am my own person. April J is her own person. I just thought I'd talk about that. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what she said. Yeah. I'm I'm like, like, I'm and and, 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 and right. Ronnie Elcott is her own person. Um, but on a, a more serious note, um, I just want to say that people throw around sisterhood so easy, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to really mm -hmm. understand and respect what sisterhood really is all about. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think sisterhood is more so about understanding each other, mm -hmm. right? Respecting each other's boundaries. Um, I also think that just loving on one another, even if we agree. Listen, we real transparent up in here. Let go of the microphone. Yeah, you're good. You're fine. Go. I don't know if that is something we should be on the podcast. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, y'all are getting us. This is what we do. No, for real. No, you're so right. I thought that this was going up and down. But anyway, no, 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 no. so, so, so ooh, sorry, y'all. Yeah, but, yeah, so but actually, in all, in all actuality, I was just saying that with us, I think that we're really authentic, we're transparent, mm -hmm. um, and even if we agree or don't agree with what it is that mm -hmm. each one of us are doing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, we're not, we tell <laughs> so, so, is this the moment where we introduce our bartender? <laughs> As I was saying, mm -hmm. is that oftentimes women throw around sisterhood or what have you, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't really mean sisterhood, mm -hmm. right? To me, sisterhood means you can say what you want, mean what you say, and still love one another, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Without bringing each other down, mm -hmm. without hurting each other's feelings. But you know what? No, I may hurt your feelings, but I don't mean to. I it just want you to love. Right, it does. Yeah. But I, I just want you guys to get it and understand that I do love each and every one of you, mm -hmm. but I don't want you to, to be played a fool. Right. Exactly. That's exactly. I think it comes okay. as a low maintenance friendship, okay. meaning mm -hmm. that you're. Um, we know each other. We we don't have to be at everyone's beck and call. Yeah. But when it does come time, we are there. We are strong. We are each other's rock, and we can come together full circle. But we don't have to be in each other's DM phone every day. Yeah, we don't talk each other's phone business. Phone. Yeah. But when yeah. we come together, we come together. Mm -hmm. We and, and I think um, as a sisterhood, we have our, we all have our own lives. Mm -hmm. We have things going on. Um, but when it's time to when we come together, because we need that. We, yeah. we need our time with our friends that we are that are close to us and we can be vulnerable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can share intimate moments, whether it's on the outside, um, talking about something outside yeah. of there and something inside. I mean, whether it's personal, mm -hmm. you know, whatever yeah. it is. And you know, we have good time with it. You know, we throw shade and then we come back, you know. Like a little, little shade. Little, little shade. shade. But now yeah. the group chat be shady. But we, AF. But we know we know that that shade is from a good place yeah. and we all are good with it yeah. and I think that's what's more important. 
I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think people probably want to know, like, how did we even get together? The truth, or here we go. Okay, so uh, all right, all right. Because, <laughs> yeah, no, here, yeah. Yeah. Because you know, because Don 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 like like to say, well, I always tell the same and, story. And, oh, <laughs> now, now, Brandy, I'm the one that that cussed a lot, so bear with me, because Don Don like to start shit. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I take I take full responsibility. However, when we did meet, uh, we met through um, your fiance. Who Shout out to the contract doctor. Oh. Okay, and um, you know he introduced okay. you know us to you, and I think at that moment I think all of us instantly kind of like each other. I mean, we okay. we all went to a yogi stand together. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that, was together. Our, that was our first date. Exactly. I, I didn't. We were all. I didn't. I didn't go to the yoga stand. I didn't lay there. I worked in it. I worked in it. I worked in it. But yeah, we all got the the My coochie thing. was clean. The coochie <laughs> clean. That's what we did. We got the coochie <laughs> clean. Okay. <laughs> and we went. Oh, time out. So you say it. Because you didn't go to the Yomi scene the first day that we was dirty. That's you said that. I didn't say anything like that. I just no, said I had to get I had to get rid of some shit. Yeah, I, 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 okay. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> but I mean we you know we all talk and when I actually came here, you know, to your lovely house because you know, yeah. we're in her bathroom. Yeah. We're in the ladies room. I told I told Quasi. And I was like, you know what, Paul? I'm going to reach out to her because I don't want her to think that something happened over at Let me just say this. Let me cut to the chase. Before I tell you my side of the story, oh I will be on Espresso Martini. Oh, my. Listen, I need an Espresso Martini before I tell my side of the story. Oh, about how you so, were ready to fight. So right now, we have Amistad, the bartender, yes, who is going to be yes. sharing his yes. amazing uh, uh, espresso martini. Espresso now, martini. I like it sweet, dark, tall, and chocolate like my man. I come in. Um, how you like it? Me and April like it. I like it dark, black, and strong like mine. Okay. And, and, and <laughs> I like mine delectable. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, appealing to my soul. I know that's right. Mm. Uh, right. With like, with like, with like, Okay. <laughs> Know is sisters. Uh, you have to have a signature drink. So if y'all familiar with the TV show Sex in the City, they had their little cosmopolitans and things like that. For us, it is an espresso martini. We so love to drink time, dessert. Yeah, we, yes, we have yes, liquid yes, desserts yes. when we go out to dinner. And yeah. so we have we have dined in some great establishments, and they have thankfully all have been able to cater to our desire to have our liquid dessert at the end of the meal. Yeah. But we are blessed to be able to have an in-house bartender, and he knows each one of our palates, and has created them to make sure that they're going to be delicious all the way around. So, yeah. All right, so get back to the story. So, <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. April was telling the story. I know. I just told really the story. Really but she, you, know, you know how. No, no, like that. What the? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go, go, go. So, before you get started, uh -oh. I want to make sure I. Deliver your drinks too. Oh, I like the delivery. Incoming! Yes. yes. So for April, right. we have a very delicious mudslide espresso martini. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Yes. Ooh. For Donzella, we have an iced coffee espresso martini. Gracias, muchacho. With extra sugar. Yes, no, what's here? I can't wait. Can we, can we, can we drink together? What am I? I'm thirsty. Hey, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. For Rondo, we have the salted caramel macchiato mm -hmm. espresso martini. Salty. Thank you. Caramel. Exactly. Mm, okay. And for our relatives, we have the traditional <laughs> espresso martini, very coffee for. Yes. So just a little bit about the espresso martini. It was created in 1983 by a brother by the name of Brad Sell, who was a bartender in London. So when a um, well-known model came to his bar, she said, I need something that's going to wake me up and F me up. I know, that's right. Ooh, not oh, that. Okay. I like that. So, Enjoy. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Cheers. Cheers.
Cheers, ladies. Empower. Cheers. Hour. 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 Meeting in the ladies' room. All right. <gasps> oh, sorry. Oh, my brand new <laughs> goddamn mouth. <laughs> Marcus. Marcus. The oh, my mouth and roll roll was right. don't spill nothing on okay. Marcus. So let me, let me, let me, let me, let me um, begin. Mm. <clears throat> Where you left off. I'm going to put water on that. Okay. Just because you're friends, for, for me, it doesn't necessarily mean that I need to talk to you every day. We need to text every day. However, in friendships, I feel as though you need to still check on one another, right? Right. But with these bitches, sorry, they totally left me out, left me out with dust. And I didn't hear from them for over a year oh, or two. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta be specific, specific. specific. about the bitches. Okay. Because I am one of them. Okay. So it wasn't a, it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't a relative. It was April J and um <laughs> Ron Elcott. Wait, seriously, all jokes aside, I did not hear from them for about a year, two years, or what have you. So Aurelis and I, Aurelis and I met. We were Aurelis was having a party. Right. And she needed to buy some spirits or what have you. Fast forward. I kind of told her a little bit about these women, and I just said, I don't know, you know, what happened, you know, we, we, we did the whole, you know, you see, what have you, and I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. So I invited everybody over to the house, um, you know, and I was like, or else, I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know what's going to take mm -hmm. place, I didn't know, whatever. So as soon as they walked into my yard, I was like, yo, listen. And what did I say to you? You apologize. I but I did have to post up on somebody. And what did I say? You, 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 you know what? You took it all in and you said, I'm I sorry. I said that. You're right. I Meanwhile, I was in the back like, what the right. fuck is going on? <laughs> right. But you're you right. know what? And so that's what's so great about us is that they heard me out, right? Mm -hmm. You guys heard me out. You guys listened and you guys uh -huh. took it all in and you were just like, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Right. And that's what friends are all about. Mm -hmm. Taking mm -hmm. ownership mm -hmm. and having yourself accountable. accountable. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. being willing to be vulnerable and, you know, authentic with it. Like, okay, yeah, I messed up. I dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, even though it was COVID and life and life and whatever. Exactly. But I'm here. I'm owning up to it. And what can we do to move forward? Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah. been going strong exactly. ever since. Yeah. Like, now she was the only one that came to the party. <laughs> just that why. Listen, but it's, I it's still wait. only four of us. Just that why. Me too. Me too. Four, <laughs> seven, okay. Seven. I am all no. I am all about bringing people into the circle. Mm -hmm. They're not strays. I am strays. Exactly. Not, they're not strays. They I are. am all about Inclusive. sisterhood. Okay. And that means if I'm going to bring in additional one, two, three, or four women, and it didn't happen. <laughs> You guys didn't even give them an opportunity. I don't play with well. that. That's true. I didn't. But <laughs> what I, so what I will segue into though is that I want everyone to, the bathrobes that you designed. Okay. Right. So we had um, the we you know created this whole notion that we wanted to do a slumber party. And so yes, that sounds very high schoolish. But I want to say, women, we need to normalize that. You know, we need to normalize creating safe spaces for us to be us in front of each other. So we did a slumber party here mm -hmm. and Donzella made sure that we each have our own customized mm -hmm. satin bathrobe. So that's yeah. what you see here. Yeah. We uh, yeah. did. We yeah. had a lot of fun that night. We, uh, did. we did our dance routine mm -hmm. to uh, Beyonce's Cup It Challenge. We did mm -hmm. the Cup It Challenge. That Rhonda made us do. Absolutely. Five, <laughs> five, six, five, five six, 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 seven, eight. eight. You know. <laughs> And we did a holistic piece mm -hmm. there where we were able to tap into our energies and things like that. It was great. And and so I say all that to say that when you're thinking about, well, what am I supposed to do with my girl circle? You know, outside of going to dinners and things of that nature, those are other options that you have. Like, think outside of the box. Go back to your childhood. Mm -hmm. What made you love hanging out with your good, good girlfriends? Right. Slumber parties, trips, you know, any of those things. It's whatever... Make yeah, sure it's not just about going out to dinner. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, really dig deep and like, yeah, what's really fun? Yeah, what's you know, fun? Really like, what do you want to do that's yeah. fun? Like, you said, hey, let's do a podcast. That's fun. And I'm like, okay, let's do that. Yeah. You know, it's and, just and, another opportunity. Yeah, and it's like our everyday life. Like, it's not just like, oh, let's just be, you because know, we have, camera or whatever. We have a really fun. interesting interaction. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think yeah. um, 
even today, I think if we would have put our behind the scenes on, I mean, just by that, that was a whole episode within itself. Yes, it was. Absolutely. Because mm-hmm. think... you had these two just going back and forth at it. You know? Yeah, so I, I really think. Uh, April <laughs> Hart walked in. No, right. but, but let me I just say this. But, but in, this, in, this, in this sisterhood, right? You guys really be crap, but seriously. You know. In this. Don't um, cry. Don't cry. No, I'm serious. Like, in this group of us, we're all different, mm-hmm. but similar. Mm-hmm. Okay? Right. And just because you're different doesn't mean that you cannot come together. Exactly. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. So I love the fact that we are different, but yet we're similar. Mm-hmm. Right. Even though I'm the boss, guys. Oh, no. we'll let you say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, seriously. Still, but even though we're different, we're mm-hmm. similar, and that's, that's what makes us have a wonderful sisterhood. Right. You know, we're comfortable with mm-hmm. each other. We're comfortable in our own skin. We're comfortable with our journey. And I think, unfortunately, sometimes when women say sisterhood, they don't really know what it means. Exactly. Yeah. Like, exactly. literally, I don't think they know what it means. I've heard people say, be careful, because, you know, when you say <coughs> sisterhood, mm-hmm. you hear that mm-hmm. as in a snake. Snake, yeah. And I cringe Ooh. when I hear that, because, but that's the reality of it. A lot it of women... So have PTSD Mm -hmm. when it comes to sisterhood. Like, I talked to it, I talked about it with my getting ready to be 20 year old daughter, like what she experienced in high school, those friends are not your friends. And then, you know, like as you move forward into college, the things that you deal with, and then here I am in my 40s, mm-hmm. and I've had hurt and trauma mm-hmm. surrounding yeah. sisterhood. Well, because I think a lot of times, often, often enough, is that there's so much competition within black women, mm-hmm. right? And right. even within a sisterhood, there's a lot of competition, whether you care to believe it or not, Absolutely. right? And, Absolutely. And, 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 and so when there's competition in it, to me, that's not a sisterhood. No, no. And you know, I, I often say you're blessed when you find one but you're even more blessed when you find many. Um, Cause I have to tell my daughters, I have two adult daughters and I tell them, you know, coming up, I had a group of ladies that I went to college with. Mm-hmm. And to this day, we're all still so friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're all still, you mm-hmm. know, we don't have, we don't talk to each other every day, but when mm-hmm. we come together, you, you know, together. Mm-hmm. and right. so to be able to find two groups of friends that are similar, mm-hmm. And, you know, you can also be open and very honest and mm-hmm. them accepting you for who you are. Yeah. That's hard to find because mm-hmm. a lot of times, you know, women and it's not necessarily just black women, but just women in general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we find ourselves and you see it on reality shows. Right. You know, mm-hmm. we are not slinging no espresso martinis exactly. up in here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, a lot of that is staged. Mm-hmm. from you know just yeah. it is it's staged but the way they treat each other it's like okay that's what makes other women in reality mm-hmm. not really trust other women right. and exactly. I feel like you can't have a friendship if you can't have trust that's it's just right. like a relationship yeah. you can't have trust that's right. you can't have a relationship without trust mm-hmm. If the trust is there, there's no relationship. Mm-hmm. You're just coexisting. Right. And that's why I wanted us to make sure that we were normalizing sisterhood. Because yeah. it's like coming out. Yes, to Dalzell's yeah. point, we all have our own lives. We all do our own things, but we do have a commonality amongst each other because mm-hmm. we do have that mm-hmm. vulnerability and we do share some type of some type of energy, some type of vibe between us that does bring us together. I mean, mm-hmm. we may not be doing what she does, but at the end of the day, we we bring whatever it is, whether it's our woes, whether it's our laughter, whether it's our whatever it is, mm-hmm. and we appreciate whatever it is. And you know, sometimes we laugh about it. Sometimes we really sit down and we may cry about mm-hmm. it, or, mm-hmm. and we give advice or whatever. And mm-hmm. I think the commonality of that, um, we may not necessarily share outside of what it is that we do in our normal lives, mm-hmm. but we do share that commonality that does bring us together as a sister because. To your point, mm-hmm. we need that. Mm-hmm. We need that mm-hmm. coming to. Um, I mean, there's a bigger picture behind that. We we need that to help us in our outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.